Welcome to this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to talk about the fit image command in Photoshop, which uh, it's not a way to get your photos more in shape. It's a way to uh, resize your images without destroying the aspect ratio of them. Um, let's say you have five or six different images and you want them all to fit within like a, a 2048 wide box, 2048 pixels wide. Uh, you can do that, of course, by going to image, image size, and setting the width 2048. Um, but kind of a nice fast way to do this and even plug it within an action again, it's here under the automate menu. File automate is the fit image command. And again, like I just showed you, it doesn't really make sense to do it um, in terms of using image size because, or I'm sorry, it, it doesn't really make sense to use fit image just on one image like this. You can just go image, image size, and change the image size and the you know, resolutions there and all that good stuff. But if you're applying this to a batch of images or placing this command within an action, fit image can be a really great and helpful way to do this. So let's let's do that. Let's put it within an action. We're gonna go window actions and under mode change or not mode change, I'm sorry, under Tutvid color grid, I'm just gonna throw another action here and I'm gonna call this one fit image. And there we go. Great. Um, I can even stop recording this now and just go hit the well I hit the little flyout menu there and choose and insert menu item and then go file automate fit image and then hit OK. I can double click the fit image and I can choose. Yeah, we're going to constrain. We're going to constrain the image within 2048 wide or 2048 tall. So no matter what size your image, it's always going to fit within this 2048 box, this invisible box, if you will. It's not going to resize your image to 2048 by 2048, but rather choose the longest side of the image and size that down to 2048 and keep everything the way it's supposed to be. So go ahead and hit OK. You can see it's resized our image. If I go image, image size, sure enough, the width has been changed to 2048 because that's wider, all right? Let's uh, bring another image in here into Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to grab actually, whoops, wrong folder. I'm going to grab, I know I have a portrait orientation shot here of some sushi. I'm going to bring that into Photoshop because obviously this, if we set the width to 2048, the height is still going to be above 2048. And here's where fit image can just be so fast and easy. There's fit image. I'm just going to play the action. And sure enough, what it does is it sees that and it sets the height to 2048 instead of the width. So no matter what type of image or what orientation your image is, Fit image can be a great and super fast way to resize your images within a specific box, particularly when you need this command in an action if, or if you're batch processing, you know, 150 images, you want them all to be, you know, optimized for Facebook as far as size or maybe for the portfolio on your website or delivery to a client, whatever it may be, fit image, a super fast way of doing that right here within Photoshop. So before I let you go, this tutorial has been sponsored by our good friends at WP Engine. I trust them enough to run Tutvid on their servers. It's like WordPress optimized server service, if you will. Um, they're great. You can check them out over tutvid.com slash WP hyphen engine. There's a discount if you sign up over there. It helps the site out. It's great. I would appreciate that. Uh, there's a link in the description as well. Check them out. So for the fit image command in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds in Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.